Wayne, I'm Batman. Batman, I'm Batman. Yeah. I got my... I go to hotels when I step out. Yeah, your boy got a dick. They call me the madman. I ain't no madman. I just go crazy, man. Ball hard, can't face, man. Chopper, rip, wasteland. This what happen when you give it a taste like fake life in them the ape, man. Uh, I live with birds, man. Uh, sounds like I see it's in there. Hey, I'm on your turf again. This, that. Yeah. I got a girl, Brad. She go to battle, shit. Uh, uh, yeah. I live with birds, man. Uh, sounds like I see it's in there. Hey. talking about you getting better every week. You know what? Today you got better. Let's keep it up.
what really gets me excited? The fact that I know we can get better. You guys have so much room to improve still. That is exciting. Let's go out here and next practice, let's improve. Out with Alabama at that was hit. Be one and done. No drive, but we running. Walk up to you while you're showing us stunts. Till you're up there cheering and money. Playing games, they can show no fun. Until my young win for me. Yeah. For the love of the bankroll. Keep it bent to you. Don't nobody care about it. Don't nobody want to hear about it. You got problem, huh? Well, it's the same thing for everybody. I ain't gonna lie. I promise another day go by. I ain't on the grind if I ain't on fire. If it's one thing I want, then it can't go by. Trying to put six wheels on the Range Rover. I ain't finna play no game that with you, no so. If you think it's the top, tell them move over. Modern day Tupac, get a new hover. Know that now come with us and down. We dodge the steady deck and clown. We chase the meal so we can put that down. Top, but we run the town. But with millions in with no cap and gown. We're all in what happened now. Metal throne, concrete crown. Call that line, you getting beat. Real boy veteran. Boy academy. Deep. They remember me when they're sick and need they mess it. Better watch it, partner, you even ride here thinking sweet, you got the wrong idea. Get left out there, tell them so what? I kept trap music all black. Still, I'm that stoop. Still down to do it if you ask stoop. Get locked up and get back to it, yeah. Trap music all black. Get locked up and get back to it, yeah. They gon' let me in this club in these dirty vans. Clean money and count stacks with these dirty hands. Do a show, cut the rack with my new advance. 50 bands, 80 bands, 100 bands. I'm the American dream. We the American dream. No money, no class, look at them. Look at them, uh. How to make it in America? Real day one, ain't a lot of us. Mom worked two jobs, it was hard for us. Me and sis made it out, now she proud of us. They ain't teach me how to rap in those private schools. Wasn't like my rich friends, had a lot to lose. Less money, less options, lot of rules. So when that first deal came, it was opportune. And shawty got potential, I scout that, I doubt that. Maybe it's the, the, the clout. I get love in the north, I get love in the south, yeah. Uh, shawty claims she a feminist. And her feminine. Girl, you know that he average. Girl, you know I'm a savage. They gon' let me in this club in these dirty vans. Clean money, I count stacks with these dirty hands. Do a show, cut the rack with my new advance. 50 bands, 80 bands, 100 bands. We welcome all of you to Nissan Stadium on the banks of the Cumberland River in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. This crowd here fired up for football as a moment ago their Titans were introduced. This should be a good one as the Titans get set to match up with Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts. Here we go. The final week of the NFL season. Week 17 is underway. This will be taken short. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Hey, 
Mariota now to throw on first down. He's got his man. It's Brandon Coleman. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tuck roll that they can fall back on anymore. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Throwing again, Mariota on second and 10. And the hit jarred loose. It's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Third down, Mariota. And that's incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. So on fourth down, here's the Tennessee field goal unit led by Ryan Succo. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. That's trying to come back for Suckup. It's not going to get there. No good. Wide to the right, and this will remain a scoreless game. Mm. It looked good when it left his foot, but he kind of sliced it a little bit, and he winds up missing it wide right. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Here's Luck. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure. But it falls incomplete. And it's second down. Trying to get that one to his running back, Marlon Mack. That'll bring up second down. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. Oh, he will not go down. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, oh, baby. Indianapolis. A big play there. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. This will be taken very short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. And yeah, they were in field goal range last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and... Looking to hit Matthews, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 47. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Matthews, the intended target. 
Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Luck and the Colts come up now first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. After the interception, it's long and nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. He was all over that route defensively. Now, they had two picks last week as a unit. Couldn't quite grab that one. Patience, Grasshopper. Patience. <laughs> it's early in this game, but you like the fact that they're around the football early. They're going to be upset they didn't haul that one in, but at least they're there at the moment of truth to make a play on it. By the way, where did the Grasshopper thing come from? I know it's been around for a long time. But... Yeah, you know, I'll have to tell you that some other time. All right, back, back to football. Back to the air, Luck on second down. Oh, oh. He put that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. the incomplete pass on second down now they need a big play here third and ten out of the gun for Sam. it's complete here to T.Y. Hilton and this time he's able to take it down to the 42 they do get nine but it leads to fourth down so much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And all caught it. Oh, come on. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool them. And maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt return. Sometimes they forget Paramount holding on to that football. I really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves, when I get the ball, I'm going to make the play that's going to change yeah, the I'm game. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. And you love that they have that attitude, but your point is so well taken. What do you have to do? First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. And that'll be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. On second down, Mariota again. The throw to the left side, caught by Coleman. That one goes for 24 yards. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all season about our season open let's opponent go, go, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them i tackled him on the first pass of the game and the relief was incredible i ended up having a pretty decent ball game but if i had missed him it <laughs> would have been, been a different been a story long night and give the tackle to anthony walker despite the blitz they're still able to pick up a nice solid game the disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there Mariota now on second down. And Matthews over the middle with the grab. 
And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent game, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. One, one. One, one. From the gun, Mariota. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. Flashed the stick skills but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Check 13. One, one. Yes. Working out of the gun, Mariota. It comes, and he lost the football. Mariota had it jarred loose. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because... This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Set to throw on first. Caught left side by Hilton. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. The I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Ohio! Ohio! Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll run with Mac. A little juice. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Set now. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Hmm. And they're going to take over right there at the 22 yard line. Well, partner, they went empty set there. No bats in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect. No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit but not go down and fumble the ball. A 
first down carry for Henry. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. On second down, here's Henry. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Titans with the football here to begin quarter number two. They'll come up on a third and four here to start things out. First carry for the expatriate. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Moved back to the 10, they'll try on second and goal here. They'll try to throw now. Mariota. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never got a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. This one fielded at the five. Now a hit and a loose football. And he gets it to the 30-yard line, but the football's not going to stay there. There's a penalty marker down. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. Powering his way forward, complete to Hilton. Give him nine there on the first down completion.
Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Stop before he could even get started. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Efficiency. And now that we're in December, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this one, it winds up getting picked off. Following the interception here, Mariota, he dumps it off for Henry. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Derrick Henry. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Well, it'll definitely be a disappointment to come out of this starting position with just three points. They need to try to dial something up now, third and ten. Now Mariota. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes... You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A minute 59 to go in the first half. Back to Tennessee after this. So we're back to a one-point game now as the kickoff comes. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21-yard line. And the Colts getting ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Ebron caught left side. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And yeah, the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively as he'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. Switch, switch. 
From the gun, here's the set. Oh. Throw, but incomplete. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. Here's Rigoberto Sanchez on to punt. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. That's taken on the 20-45 yard punt for there on the return. And it'll be Titan football. Out come the Titans now. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in the contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped in the contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Super tough. Rashad Matthews here on the catch. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. A big play that time for the Titans. 41 yards. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Mariota now to throw on first down. And Matthews has it right side. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Second down, Mariota. Here's throw caught in about the five. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Titans are able to strike for six. Extra point put through by Suckup. And that'll make this a six-point game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. First down, Brissett. Throw left side, complete. That's Doyle. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Mack. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. 
So after the penalty, we'll have one final untimed play here before halftime. They'll throw now on the final play. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway. This is taken at his four. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. So we got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. The tackle is made by Adore Jackson. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. This is caught. It's Ryan Bland. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Let's go! Now Brissett. That's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now the rookie from NC State, this is Naeem Hines. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of a full eight yards. And it sets him back for second down. Set now on second down. Wide open receiver complete. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. The Colts on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. It's Doyle. Uh, he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Brissett going to lead his guys up first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They run with Hines. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Touchdown. 
Ryan Grant with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Colts have tied things up. They can take the lead with the extra point. Vinatieri now for the point after. Vinatieri connecting on the extra point, and that will put them on top here in the third. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Titans' offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Mariota going underneath for Lewis. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll make it a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. From the gun, Mariota. To the right side, completes to Taylor. The 20! A gain of 32 that time. A lot of receivers see the drag route as a risk-reward type of a play. The risk, going into the middle of the field where there's some big people want to hit you. But the reward is oftentimes you get lost in coverage, running a little bit underneath, and when you catch it just right as we just saw there, the end result can be a big, big play. From the red zone now, Mariota. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Shard Matthews, the intended target, and it's second down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah, what happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. season and the Titans are able to strike for six and now Mariota and the Titan offense they're going to line up to go for two They'll throw again, Mariota, and this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And the Colts coming out now. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Set on first down. And it's incomplete. Jonathan Cyprian there defensively to make the play. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. They stop him behind the line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. The Colts on third down, two for five to this point. This is going to be third and 13. Ohio! Ohio! Flex round! Flex round! He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and try to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. After the delay, they're Ohio, backed up even Ohio. further for third and long. Ohio, Ohio. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. And that is incomplete. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Taken in at the 11. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And that's how you throw for a whole heap of yards in a game. You get efforts like that from your receivers. How about him laying out for that catch? Yeah, excellent. Makes the quarterback look a whole lot better. Mariota now. Perfect since the second half started. 7-7. Seven of seven. It's first and 10. Back now in Nashville. It's the Titans. They've got the football. They'll be looking to extend their lead here as we begin the fourth quarter. Right. 
Mariota now on second down. Finding some room at midfield. Incomplete to the tight end Walker right side. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. A big play that time for the Titans. 44 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. on the carry there it'll be second down the fourth quarter here they've got the lead they want to keep it on the ground that's what they're doing smart football keep the clock grinding keep it going but you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out they'll run it again with Henry and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line he lost two there and it's third down now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Give them eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. And if there's something to build off of, that's what they're looking for here. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. A second down throw for Brissett. Caught left side by Hilton. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. On third down, Brissett. One thing I think it's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. Taking it about the 36. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast 
when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Again, it's Henry. Oh, fighting off the defender. And so we're into maneuver. Touchdown, Titans! Derrick Henry, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Found his way into the end zone, but the defensive guys just not wrapping up well when they try to tackle him. And, and that's the thing. You've got to wrap up. A lot of times these days you see guys, they just want to go as hard as they can and throw their body at somebody. That's not old school football, though. Now, old school football is fundamentals. Wrapping up, locking your hands, and trying to get him on the ground. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And the lead is up to 15 now. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll very wisely take a knee here as they'll bring this one out to the 25 on the touchback. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, some, hey, listen, there's something got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. To throw is Brissett. And the Titan defense steps up here and down he goes. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. From the gun, here's the sack. Ebron with it over the middle. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Set from the gun on third. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Try it here. He's back to throw. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Here's Brissett. And Matthews has it right side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The Colts on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and five. 
Brissett again. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is incomplete. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, were they about 95% chance of oh, winning Oh, yeah, it? I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. Now a handoff to Henry. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They go play action here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations, because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Mariota here to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. And another timeout taken by the Colts. As he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Off play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the... And got his man complete! And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. It's a big play there for Tennessee. 44 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. After the penalty, it's Henry. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves him with third and still nine to go. 
Now a timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. The Titans on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and nine. They'll run with Henry. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 10 yards is the pick up there, and that should just about put a bow on this one. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. A handoff running left, Henry. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. But I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football.